Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this video lecture i will guide you for column placing on layout okay so how to place rcc column in house planning guys you can see this is a planning which size is 30 feet by 75 feet i designed this house plan for one of my clients so if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free how to place column uh, positioning okay or where is the best place to provide rcc column in this planning guys you can see this is its front side okay which is uh, uh, to the road side in north direction so this is main gate as you know uh, guys at main gate for each uh, side we will provide the RCC column so guys you can see this is column which size is here 12 by 18 inches okay and this is also 12 by 18 inches okay which width is here 14 feet so this is column guys you can see the black uh, positions you can see here these are columns so this is back side so here uh, for the boundary wall for boundary wall remember one thing for boundary wall, you can keep the spacing maximum 16 feet. Normally, you can keep up to 12 feet. And minimum, you can provide it placing of column for 8 feet. Okay. So, this is for boundary wall. So, guys, you can see this is boundary wall, which is about 4.5 inches. First of all, guys, you can see this is where in the so here uh, you can see uh, this is the kitchen so the kitchen length is here 16 feet okay so this is 16 feet so therefore guys you can see in this 16 feet we have the column okay so this is column and this is column and these are the uh, corners also next guys you can see the width is here 10 feet and 4.5 inches so therefore again you can see this is the column position this is also the column position okay so these are four columns for this kitchen Next, guys, you can see this is bedroom. So, size of this bedroom is 16 feet by 12 feet and 9 inches. So, 16 feet. So, therefore, here we have the 16 feet. So, therefore, we require to provide the column here. Require to provide column here. Again, guys, if you see, uh, this is six. Uh, the width is 6 feet. So, therefore, we also require at this corner. The RCC column also we require here, the column. If you see here also, we require because this is the veranda. We don't have here. So, there is the important uh, position especially for rcc column next guys you can see this is a tv lounge which length is 15 feet and 6 inches so already we have at the corner of this bedroom so here we require the other column at this place okay next guys you can see also uh, we have here the column here you can see the column because here this space is about 12 feet okay this is 12 feet so this is a dining so which width is 11 feet so therefore this is the column this is the column we don't require the column here that's why because uh, totally we have about 11 feet so at 11 feet we don't require here because also we have the at the corner of this position and also at the corner of this position we have the column okay this is a powder room because this is the starting point so therefore at the car porch at the end we require the column here this is the drawing room so in the drawing room this is the corner we require here because this is uh, 13 feet so in this 13 feet width we have the column here also we require the column here because this is 15 feet as i told you maximum you can go to the uh, 16 feet but uh, normally you can provide it here okay so this is the uh, car porch okay our car parking so therefore this is about here you can see 13 feet and 9 inches we require the column here also we require the column here you can see these are columns so this is a boundary wall so also we require the column here so also at the middle we require as i told you minimum you can keep up to eight feet so guys this is the topic for today to know where is the best place to provide rcc column and house planning hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye